Good afternoon traders, this is Tony D from Easy Markets. We've got an update going into the start of the European session. You can see there's some very interesting things happening. Uh, the US dollar's strength uh, are pretty much across the board except against the yen, uh, mostly played out against the euro, uh, but specifically definitely against the Aussie and the uh, dollar CAD screaming to fresh uh, multi-month highs. Uh, if we bring up the, uh, the dollar CAD here, you can see that uh, 130 just melted through um, come Friday and the the break here uh, is looking much more towards a, a move you know almost 10 figures are higher than the low uh, now since uh, they started that rate hike cycle now this is on general concern of how Canada will go in any sort of global trade uh, crisis and that's what's developing at the moment fears about that is driving most of this movement now we don't have too much more details in regards to that uh, there is reports that the uh, retaliation measures from Europe are already uh, in works if, he, if they are added to tariffs and also um, more strong words from China but nothing concrete in terms of their retaliation. Uh, the Australian dollar is seen as the proxy for the Asian uh, sector as well and more particular is the proxy for China. So you can't really sell China, uh, short China but you can short the Aussie and you're seeing that coming through here on the daily. Uh, big selling uh, back underneath the 200-day uh, moving average which comes in around about 78 at the moment uh, and also breaking that 7750 which we go back in time is the key sort of resistance on the way up now it's the key support we're well underneath that uh, and going into the start of Europe we're we're pretty much at day lows and it's hard for us to uh, apart from small rebounds and profit taking uh, the the buyers are in, in few and far between right now so you need some sort of circuit breaker some sort of fresh news uh, to allow the market to to not be as aggressive as it is right now otherwise more downside pressure and, and you know non-stop selling is on the cards at the moment uh, in terms of the big story for the week it is the FOMC later um, coming on Thursday morning Sydney time now uh, that is uh, going to be a very interesting meeting very likely they raise rates 90 95 percent chance of them raising rates but the most important thing is their language and what they uh, see as the major threats and if they uh, start to be a bit more cautious in the outlook given that inflation still hasn't really reared its head and uh, you are seeing uh, some concerns about the global trade environment and uh, geopolitical uh, situations which are you know potentially could make the Fed more cautious, more cautious going forward also you do have um, uh, some of the concerns there coming through uh, that the local data in, in the US um, well, in, in particular, the, the jobs numbers are strong. Uh, some of the uh, PMI numbers are, are starting to fade a little bit, and they that could lead them to the position where they'll just wait and see. You know, rather than uh, the market penciling in a, a next rate hike uh, in June, say, um, all the chances of four rate hikes being uh, priced out and the chances of three rate, uh, rate hikes coming in, uh, that would allow the market to sell the US dollar uh, a little bit more aggressively uh, go back to that sell US dollar feel uh, if they can stabilize also concerns just about the you know the growing unease from last month which was uh, that stock markets might have peaked now if that becomes more of a theme as well then yeah there's a really uh, the chance that well the further the stocks fall the more chance that the Fed doesn't raise rates the fact that they've stabilized and bounced sharply since February uh, is, is while the rate hike is still on if we were sitting here underneath 24,000 um, in the stock market, there could be an argument that they'll wait and see, uh, you know, what the sentiment is like. But you can see that, you know, things have stabilised pretty quickly, and that uh, that sort of uptrend here is still holding. Uh, but if we were still down here and the volatility was still as wild, then there would be more of an argument that they would sit on the sidelines for this particular meeting. Um, but that seems like that has has gone away. But they still should have comments on it and what they do speak about and how they do in, uh, they do talk about the recent volatility um, and just general asset prices in uh, that that's going to be interesting as well because there's definitely concerns that the tech bubble or well, the bubble in in the Nasdaq is uh, continue to inflate you know because we have fresh highs uh, only uh, two weeks ago and um, while we're down a little bit below that at the moment you know there's still concern that uh, certain bubbles haven't been popped yet and uh, that uh, word Yellen was getting quite concerned explicitly saying that uh, some valuations were looking stretched you know, so we have to see how Powell this is his first meeting and so uh, what he says is going to be interesting and passed a lot um, a lot of analysts are going to look into just his body language and also uh, the words he uses uh, when he's talking and answering questions 
Uh, so it is probably the most important uh, Fed meeting we've had in a while. Alright guys, we'll talk more about that going forward. Uh, if you want some research from some banks, um, contact me on the contact details below. Uh, if you aren't a member of the Easy Markets Dealing Room and you do want to have a dealer like myself uh, talk about the markets with you and talk about particular pairs or crosses, uh, you can sign up below as well.